Hey folks, elegant simplicity to this update, which covers two recent articles from the morning news, applies previous learning, and crosses disciplines. This was the paper that said that the climate changes of recent times have only a 1% chance of occurring without human activities, anthropogenic global warming. This is cringe for two reasons. First, it sounds so damning, 1% chance, and so certain. And never forget that nobody is claiming humans haven't contributed to our changing planet. But from a non-marketing science perspective. Second, this paper did not use the solar particle forcing or cosmic rays or Earth's weakening magnetic field. If we go back to our climate science violations chart, Obviously, that's big-time violations in the B section, not to mention that what they used in that paper still suffers greatly from the A list. But it's getting to the point where B4 should mean much more to us than a simple phrase. We have seen changes in aurora, the ionosphere, chorus waves and mesospheric echoes, lightning, and now CO2 volume mixing. This is especially fun because their blame on joule heating in the paper is directly an effect of the weakening magnetic field, which they recognize, and because it means more than just the CO2 changes. More joule heating means more ozone effect and direct heating effect throughout the global electric circuit, even to the lower atmosphere. While most observers know CO2 is overplayed, remember that's in the A list of climate science violations, remember, it's fun to let them have their game and still show that it's the sun or Earth's magnetic field working their world despite their getting to play devil's advocate. This has impact across solar climate forcing, as big solar events carry the same joule heating punch, and over the long term, because it means that the Earth's magnetic field changes are playing a bigger role in the climate changes of late than they're given credit for. And it also plays across catastrophism, because our field is weakening now on the way to excursion and everything that comes with it. This, of course, is the premise of this paper, so a double clap for them. Every publication reminding the science community that we are undergoing this change is another opportunity for a scientist to get inspired and write a paper of their own. I'll see you in the morning for the daily update. Be safe, everyone.